What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fishing with Separate episode. Today, we're at this gorgeous damn spot. No real good way to get down off the steep kind of bankment that I'm at here. Um, the water's pretty high, which is why I can't really get down there. I had to kind of stay up here to fish. So I don't think we're gonna use the micro rod today. I haven't necessarily decided, but what we're really gonna be using today I got a new spoon that I'm trying out. It's by the same people who make the faux, but this one's just kind of a simple silver spinner. So I think that's enough rambling on. I want to get casted out in this water. I think we're going to have good luck here today, boys. Alrighty, so we got a nice big black rod here. We're using six pound test. So if we catch a fish here, we shouldn't have a problem bringing it all the way up this bank. It's a little tricky with a spinner. I might jig it a little bit, but I think I'm gonna to try to get it close to those rocks or even try to get it close to that running water as, I, as close as I can. Being way up here makes it a little bit tricky. I wish I could honestly get to the other side, but I don't think that's gonna happen here today. So when I'm getting it closer to me, I'm kind of jigging it a little bit. We're gonna get a, we're gonna try to get closer to those rocks. Gotta be careful of snags here. I might try to there's like a little trail right here. I think we're gonna take that and take a walk down. It's just too tricky to cast from this high up with what I want to use here at the spot. So I've never been here before. So we're just gonna see where this trail leads us. It looks pretty good all down through here. Uh, see, it's pretty deep right through here. I think that if uh, we didn't get as much rain as we did where I live, I think we'd be able to get right down in there. But you see how predominant these uh, trails are here? I think this spot is pretty heavily fished. We're gonna go down right here. There is some pretty deep water right here we can cast into, not as deep as further up. But we still have that deep pocket right in the middle there. This tree is kind of in the way. Ooh. I think I might actually walk right up here over on these rocks. This looks pretty good through here. I don't know if I can climb over this or not. I wish all this wasn't here. We do have a little bit of rocks here, but it doesn't look like it's too easy to cast from. So I can just get these branches out of the way. Not too bad. We're gonna set this rod up here. We'll take a couple casts. I wish these trees weren't here. Actually, I wonder how deep it is. I might be able to walk out to this rock here or even that sandbar with my boots. We're gonna try, but I'm being super careful. Woo, we're getting pretty close. There we go. This is a pretty good spot. So I think they're gonna be sitting right here it looks pretty deep out there. I'd like to get to the sandbar. I'm just going to take a couple more casts where I'm at now, though. We're just going to cast right in there. There we go. We pretty much cleared the other side there. Oh, almost got snagged. I think if there's any decent fish, it's going to be right up on that other side. The tricky part is I don't want to uh, get water in my boots. I'm not sure if this is like quicksand or if this is, uh, it's I mean, it's pretty sturdy. Just gotta be careful. I don't wanna get in no quicksand here. That's not bad. All right, I think we're good here, boys. Probably should have brought our other rod with us. That's all right, though. Even though this spot looks really good, I'm not seeing a single follow. I'm not seeing anything of the sort. Very little activity here. If we have to, I'll keep walking down this trail until we find somewhere that maybe we'll have better luck at, but I don't know. This spot is starting to kind of seem like a dud. Where it looks really good, that is, but it's just, not much activity here. 
I'm gonna take a couple more casts all around here. If we don't get any more luck, then uh, we might go further down. See if maybe there's a deep pocket <clears throat> that we can uh, fish. Well, looks like we broke off, boys. Time to tie on something different. <clears throat> so I do have this rainbow trout color spoon by the same company. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this out. I'm just gonna tie this one straight onto my line. I've actually had more luck that way, so i do it just like that. And since we snagged the other one and we're tying on a different color, I'm gonna give it a couple more casts here. And we're gonna see if maybe the color will uh, make the trout more active, if there is any trout at this spot, which I'm almost certain of it that there is. I just don't know if they're sitting further over where uh, on the side of that fast water or if they're further downstream or not, I have no clue. I'm gonna take a couple casts right here. We'll cast a couple times down, downstream. And that's where we'll call it if we don't get any luck. That was a horrible cast. All right, we're gonna get our backpack back on. I'm gonna make some casts down through here real quick. And we'll walk down a little ways. We'll see if there's any uh, good looking spots down there. If not, then uh, we're gonna go ahead and head to another spot that I wanna try. All right. driving to the next spot all right guys we made it to the new spot this spot is very hard to get to I thought I would have been the only one to come fish this spot but there's a trail which means that someone else has already come here but it looks fantastic so I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna try to find a good spot to cast and we're gonna get out in this water I don't think anyone goes down there. It looks like someone might have. They're brave if they did so. So it is possible that some fish swam up in here too. I've fished this river before all the way up and I haven't had any luck, but they stalk this river down through. So there is a chance that some fish did swim up this way. I'd like to kind of cast down that way, but there's not really a bank to cast from here it's really tricky as it is but i am going to stand there right here it looks like when the water goes down you, there's like a beach area that could be down there but right now as it is oh, there we, go, we got it i thought for sure that we just lost our spoon it looks like we were all right it looks better out in between those two islands. We gotta fish on, we gotta fish on boys. There we go. That's an all right fish. Ooh, that's a nice rainbow. We're gonna loosen the drag up for him. We're gonna tire him out. All right, and the flip. Oh no. There we go boys. Oh my God, that's a nice trout. Oh my goodness, boys. Whew. There we go. What a nice brown trout. Nice, all right, we're gonna keep this trout. We're gonna do a catch and cook here. I got a new seasoning that I wanna try. We're gonna leave him here for a second. I gotta try to find something in my bag that we can kind of bonk him out. There we go, boys. We got him all knocked out. That is one nice brown trout. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Nice. We're just gonna leave him up on the bank here for a second. We're gonna take a couple more casts out there. See if we can get any more luck. Yeah, this spot is really good here, boys. Now with that trout, I don't think he was stocked this year. I think that was stocked probably last year. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try to get back out to that spot. See if we can uh, see if see if there's maybe another trail. So that's kind of right out in the middle there. I think she thought I was waving to her, but that's not really what was happening there, lady. Right there is where we were. We'll see if we can get another trout right there. From all the way up here, that looked like a rainbow trout, but it was not. All right, that's perfect. That's where we want to be. All right, I'm gonna try to cast out to the left here. I'm curious if anything's gonna be in this deep hole. All right, we're right back out in the money spot over there. I let it sit for a little bit. We're gonna slow retrieve again. I think I need to kind of stay more out towards the right. Perfect. I think that's where we want to be. I'm going to come over here because it looks deeper right through this hole. All right, we're going to let that sink for a bit. All right, guys, I'm going to do a couple more casts. Oh, 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 we just got nibbled. We're going to do a couple more casts and then we're going to call it a day. I don't want this fish sitting out here for too much longer. There's not a good spot for us to uh, catch and cook here. And I'm part up at uh, Tractor Supply. So there's not really an easy way for me to catch and cook anywhere. So I think I might take this trout home. And I think we're going to do a catch and cook on the Blackstone. I'm noticing too when I get nibbles, it's out towards the left. So we're going to try to get back out towards the left. I'd like to catch one more fish. Perfect. That's where we want to be, I think. I think I was a little bit too far to the left. It looks a little shallow. I think it's a very specific point where these fish are sitting. Right there. And this is gonna be the last cast of the day. And the last cast of the day is perfectly where we wanna be. All right, I lied, I'm gonna take a couple more casts. I'm just gonna try right in front of me for a little bit and maybe take a couple more casts up above me. I'm just curious if anything's sitting in here. I couldn't imagine there being brown trout and rainbow trout in here and them not swimming up at least a little ways. And it's deep and it has some pretty good rocks up there. All right, boys, we're calling it there. We can't say we didn't get lucky. We are leaving here with a trout, so we cannot complain. I think what I might do, I think instead of uh, going home and cooking on the Blackstone, I think we are going to go just find somewhere nice to park by the river or something. And we'll just do a catch and cook there. But I'm gonna make my journey back to the truck and we will catch you at our cooking spot. All right, we are back. So I decided to come to a different spot on the river to do this cook. We have this beautiful ledge here behind me. And uh, it's just a lot of ledge where we can kind of set up and we can cook. And I also decided to do this because while this cooks, I can also fish here. And we can see if we can get any other luck here. I don't really want to end the episode with just one fish. But if we have to, we will. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the catch and cook stuff all set up. And we're going to go ahead and fish while it cooks. All right, so based off of where I'm going to be cooking and where I'll be fishing, it's a little too hard to hop back and forth. So I'm just going to fish for a little bit and then I'll start cooking. Cause I don't really want to have to do both at the same time. I just feel like that's not going to work out very well. So we're just going to take a couple casts. If it doesn't work, we'll just jump right to the catch and cook. The spot looks a little bit more murky since last time I was here. Because oh, we just had a really nice trout follow us all the way in. I watched him swim right over here. I think that trout that followed us over here, I think that was a rainbow trout. If I'm not mistaken. When we had that one follow in, I just let that sink. And then I retrieved it from up. I'm gonna let that sink for just a bit. <sighs> While that sinks, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get our pan heated up with our oil. Just give that oil enough time to really get all prepped up. All right, so we got our oil all in the pan. Right, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go reel that in if we don't get a fish on this then we're gonna go ahead and start gutting our fish up and we'll start cooking all right one last quick cast we're not gonna let this one sink 
We're gonna have to come back to this spot. I think the easiest spot for me to do this is gonna be over here. <sighs> we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna gut it out before we wash it off. Let's go ahead and take the head right off. I probably should have bled this trout out. It is a pretty good sized trout. <sighs> I'm gonna set our head over here real quick. Cause I'm gonna take that home for my pups. Now let's get all the guts out of here. We have some roe, so this was a female trout. I wish it wasn't a female. I like to leave the females if I can because uh, this helps the population even more. They do stalk this river, so I'm not too worried about it. But if I have the option to take a male trout or a female, I will any day. Let's go ahead and get all this gunk out of here. We're making the crawdads happy today. All right, we got all the insides out. I'm gonna do one last clean, get all the slime coat off. I'm just gonna do that over here real quick. It's a little bit easier to wash things out over here. I just heard, a, oh yeah, so there's a rise over there. So we are going to cut this trout in half because it is too big for our pan. So we'll probably cut right behind the fin here. It'll probably be easier just to cut this on our backpack. Right. Let's tear it the rest of the way. Wow, look at how gorgeous that meat is. Nice orange meat. We'll cut ourselves some slit in here so that this does not curl up on us. My knife needs a good sharpening. Right, let's get some more oil in the pan. The rest of our oil spilt out, so I probably should have picked a better surface than this. But we're gonna be monitoring it from now on in anyways. I'll go ahead and grab our seasoning here. We're gonna season the we're gonna season this trout up nice and good. We'll get some on the inside here. We'll go ahead and pat that in. And this is the lemon stepper seasoning. So every time I do a catch and cook, I'm gonna be trying to use a new seasoning. I won't be able to do it every single time, but I'm gonna try to, that is. But this rock is really slippery. We gotta be careful that we don't want to lose our trout there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put one slit in each side of our back piece of meat here. Season this bad boy up too. Try to get the inside there. Try to get that in some of that oil too. What was that? What? I think that's a beaver over there, guys. What in the world? I thought someone. I thought someone straight up threw a rock in the water. That was crazy. My God. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean our knife, start packing our bag a little bit here while that cooks. I'm curious if we're gonna see the beaver come out again. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, that trout smells really good. Okay. Let's get our fork out, get ready to flip this trout. <sighs> Oh, that meat just looks gorgeous. Look at how delicious that meat's looking. Suddenly we switch my stove again, huh? <sighs> yep. So if you see over there on the top of the water, there's a beaver hanging out. It's always so hard to tell where I live because there is huge trout in this river that do jump out and just make absolute huge slams like that, so. It's a little tricky to tell sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off now. We'll let that cool and sit in the pan. 
That seems pretty sturdy right there. So while that cools off and finishes cooking on that side, now we'll take some more cast. This should have been my game plan from the start. It'll be pretty cool if we can catch a trout right before we eat one. I'm not sure where that beaver went. I know that beavers can hold their breath for a very long time, so I'm hoping the beaver doesn't come eat our lure thinking it's a fit. What we'll do too is once we hear that stop sizzling, and we'll go grab it and start eating. I am starting to get really hungry. It's around dinner time. Sun's going, starting to go down. So we're gonna eat here pretty soon. Since fish rose over there, I'm gonna cast right out in this calm water. See that bubbling in the water too? I wonder what that bubbling is. If any of you have any clue what that bubbling is, let me know down in the comments because I've seen that before, but I just have not a clue what that could be. All right, we'll do one more cast after this. That's not sizzling anymore, so it should be cooled down pretty good by now. All right, guys, last cast of the day. See if we can get any luck on the last cast. I wish we would have had that trout bite that followed us right over here, but can't catch them all. It's called fishing and not catching for a reason. All right, I am starving. Let's go ahead and grab our pan and our fork. Let's test to see how this trout came out with that new seasoning. Alrighty, before I dig into this trout, I want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for the support on my recent videos. The growth on this channel has been absolutely insane recently. And I just can't thank all of you enough because all this growth wouldn't be possible without you. So if you guys are new, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Just comment anything that you like about these videos. Um, it just really helps inspire me to keep doing these and keep advancing these videos to keep making them look absolutely amazing for all of you. And uh, that's enough rambling on. We're going to take a bite of this fish. And we're going to see how it came out. We had to do a quick change to the GoPro battery. <clears throat> but we are all set now. That first bite of the trout was absolutely fantastic. The flavoring of this seasoning is absolutely delectable. You can really taste the lemon in the seasoning, which if, I'm sure most of you already know. That lemon on trout, or lemon on any fish for that matter, is just so delicious, so. I definitely recommend that if you guys are going to cook some fish, 100% get this seasoning because it just tastes delicious. I think the part I like most about this seasoning is that it doesn't overpower the flavor of the trout. It just kind of helps assist it. it. Just gives it that little bit extra that pushes the trout really over the edge of tasting fantastic. So. I think if I was to rate this versus the other seasonings that we've used on this channel, I would definitely rate this one number one so far. Alrighty, I'm going to finish eating up this trout, but I think this is a good time to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it so much. And like I said, if you guys want to see more content just like this, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys turn on the noti bell so you guys get notified every single Sunday when I upload. We upload every single Sunday. Just don't miss it. Just keep an eye out every Sunday. Notification bell. It'll let you know exactly when I upload. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And we'll catch you next Sunday. Alright, peace guys.